Although this is a very quick look at the Extrema Multi Console, in the box you get the actual console itself, you get the Wi Fi adapter, air mouse, air mouse dongle, the instruction booklet, USB cable and micro USB cable, HDMI cable, and the power plug. Please note that the power plug is two pin, it comes as standard as a two pin adapter. Um, this won't work in the UK. I found the use of a Roku LT power adapter though worked absolutely brilliantly, no problem. The actual box itself has the Wi Fi antenna on the side, it has the power in, Ethernet, optical out, and HDMI out, and on the back side it has the SD card slot and two USB ports. The air mouse is brilliant, you just point it at the screen and it controls the cursor, it makes it very easy to use, it also has a couple of uh, directional buttons on it. Once you first power up the device you'll need to upgrade the firmware and also any apps installed and then once you're in you get a very nice interface, very easy to navigate to. The top right contains easy to get to buttons such as the app tray play store. So once it's loaded you can use this as a music player so with things such as Spotify, Deezer, Google Play Music, whatever apps really you want to install, no problem, it all works. XBMC comes pre-installed and works brilliantly, has one channel and things like Ice Films pre-installed so you don't have to worry about that either. You can use it with Netflix and of course being on Android you can get access to other country Netflixes using Holler. You can use YouTube. YouTube works brilliantly and all video across all the apps streams really really well. This is just a YouTube video I've done but Netflix works brilliantly. The menu itself, as you can see, it, it works quite well, but the icon loading can be a bit laggy. Uh, that, more so when you are installing apps in the background as well, I find it slows down quite a bit. Otherwise, the menu itself is quite nippy as you're going through it. Um, brilliantly, though, having USB, you can plug in a controller. Here I'm using an Xbox 360 with a wireless controller, and assuming the game supports it, you get a fully featured games console, and the games work really well. They run really smoothly. So this is an Android game itself, as you can see it's clipping along really nicely. Um, being Android as well you've got access to hundreds of games already. If you don't fancy Android games of course you can do a bit of retro gaming uh, with, this is, this is X-Men with MAME, or you can use a more modern emulator if you fancy something more like a PSP or Playstation, really any, any kind of emulator. If you had a keyboard you can now use this as a mini PC workstation and it works really well. There's so much it can do, I'd recommend heading to the website, checking it out, and you order this directly from the manufacturer itself. Just scroll to the bottom, you'll see buy now, 129 euros, free shipping worldwide, uh, but you may need to pay import duties. I'll put a link to all this in the description below. Any questions, please ask.